basic materials. B A S F. Ah, look at this. We're above our teal line. So if you were a buyer, right here would be a place to buy with a well determined get out point. Get out would be below the teal line. I mean, you could give it a little buffer of 1857. However, uh, yeah, this could be the turn. Turn of the century, turn of uh, whatever you want to call it. Let's go Rio or B A S F. Yeah. There has to be a reason you're in this account or in this portfolio. Let's see if you can prove your worth. However, as much as I am complaining and joking, um, we never really broke the seventeen fifty eight, which would be the like the proof that we're in a downward trend. So technically, we never were in a downward trend. We we're just in extremely uh, time to go sleep, <sighs> right? Very boring. Rio Tinto is just, oh man, look at this. We made target. We made target way down here. And guess what? We might be holding. If this is where, <clears throat> now if you're a gambling person, um, Rio Tinto has just been one gap city, right? Huge gaps. Let's not forget this is August 11th. We were at almost 90. Now, 30 points later, right? We are way down to, and this is literally not that long ago, right? A month and a week, give or take. And we are way down here. Now, if we can hold this, the 65.94, right? I mean, maybe a little bit lower. Let me see. I can't read it, but the 60, let's just say if we can hold above the 65.18, then I would be a buyer. But anything below 65.18, you need to get out because if, if we might, this is what is what we're looking at. Hit the target here. Hit the target here. Came all the way down, hit the target here. We could roll up and then come back down and hit the target here. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm not really a buyer of, of Rio Tinto's kind of looks ugly. Now I would, if I was aggressive, I'd buy right here, right? If I, if this would be a time to buy, I would buy right here. And cause I have well-defined risk of where to get out. International paper. Wow. We just fell off a cliff on Friday, didn't we? Well, how does this say that we're up 31 cents? And we most definitely did not go up 31 cents. We are 57 to 52, so we lost like $5. Um, no apparent news right here. Didn't say nothing or anything. Uh, yeah, it's a dog in my book until we can at least get above this 53.40 or 53.71. Uh, high um, path of least resistance would probably be 51.23. Now, I have to do some research, figure out what what really happened right here. And it could just be a little fluke. And this could be just clearing everybody out and up, up, and away. But again, path of risk resistance would mean that we're headed to 51.23. Scott's Milk or Grow was doing this thing. I, I thought that we were, we were finally going to, you know, make a turning point and actually, you know, do something but it does not look like we are going to it looks like we are still on our negative path um well it hit perfectly here so that makes sense um but yeah i would say we kind of got rejected at the 100 if we can't hold this 146 uh 56 look for us to retest this 40 99 and be careful because if we retest it there's a higher probability of us going to one, two, nine. So, you know, let me explain what I mean. Now, if we hit right, right around here, I mean, not as perfect science, right? Anywhere around here, let's see, yeah, right around here. Let's say we, we hit right here and then we pop and then we go higher. Well, then the, the trend has switched or shifted. If we come right here we jiggle for like a day or two, and then we continue lower to retest these lows and then down. 
then that means that the downward path is continuing. Dow Chemical. Now, <clears throat> kind of exactly what I was talking about with the last one. You see Monday, we pop all the way up. Right, we come all the way back down where it looks like we're about to retest the lows. But what do we do? We don't. We hold this teal line and we pop ourselves back up. Right. So if that's on SMG, Scotch Miracle Growth, we can do something kind of like this. Then, yep, we could. The trend could be shifting. But if it doesn't, then we'll be rolling back over. Now with Dow Chemical. <clears throat> If we can come maybe down to this 57 hold and then continue higher, then yeah, we, we might, uh, the times have changed and we might be more bullish going into the winter. But really the line in the sand is target area, which was, this was on the downside. So target area 60.51. DuPont. Yeah, this is, eh. As long as we really stay above this 67.25, we're still, like, we're still looking pretty good. I wouldn't be too much of a buyer if we break, like, okay, let's say this upcoming week. We've, like, one day, we pop down here, and we head back higher. Okay, great. But one day equals two days turns into three days we're below this bar right here no i don't like it because down up down up we are in a downward trend been in one for quite some time look for maybe pop to the 70 to roll back over but like i said it, it all depends if this is the low right here then we could have found a new bottom However, if we come up here, we pop, and we can't really break out of this high right here, then look for us to roll back over. Ladal Basal. Lindondel. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to say I like it because it's, it's quite ugly. Don't get me wrong. How, like, cause here we go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down to 8406 would be target on the downside. However, if we can hold this 91, let's say, okay, so look, we're up, we get stalled out. <clears throat> we can't break this 96, 67, whatever. And we start heading back down, right? Now, if we can hold this 9181 without breaching it, well, if we breach it a little bit, kind of like right here, but if we do not breach it like convincingly, then that was, that's when I would be a buyer and let's go higher, right? But right here, this also could be a nice little shift in, in momentum right here as well. If we can hold this 9667 without coming down to the 91, then I would also be a buyer. You guys saw that? It switched on us at one minute ago at 3 o'clock in the morning. So it must be on New York or California time. So at midnight, it switched over. Ecolab. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Ecolab. Last week, we were all the way at 222. And now we're at 213. Went all the way down to 210. Um, Just be careful with this one. I don't see anything too horribly wrong. Uh, let's take it into weeks and so you kind of see what I'm saying. Like it's still, if we can hold right here, then we are on our perfect, like you see what I'm saying? So from June, we, June to September, we're on a nice little bull, pull back a little bit more than 50%. looks like we're more or less around the 50% right now. This remember this is weeks. So if we can hold really if we hold that two ten and if we can kind of climb above that two fifteen, I see us heading to this two thirty one with the breakout to two forty eight. Now if it does it, 
it should break and it should break pretty hard because we have a lot of momentum right there. This would be the three time, three touches. Uh, we got earnings coming up pretty soon, so keep that in mind as well. Well, at the end of the month. And Scott, or uh, can we just do this one? Wait a minute. They didn't got it all screwed up on me. They didn't switch the numbers around on us, didn't they? All right. So we did Scott's Milker Grow. We did Echo Lab. We did London Basel. We did DuPont Dow. Blah 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 blah. So Moss Mosaic. Look at this. Poised to break out. Eleven one would be earnings. But yeah, man, look at this. This is not bad at all. One, two, three, four, five. So we we held and we popped and it looks like we're about to break and 42 would be target to 47 mosaic 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 looking great now sherwin williams what a disappointment what a disappointment oh these are weeks let's go back to days i apologize hey looks still good mosaic looks amazing but I was wondering why, I was like, wow, this doesn't look right. It, it's a good reason why it didn't look right, because I was looking at weeks. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we're, yeah, hit target. We might come in just a little bit if we hold this teal line up, up, and goodbye. Sure, win Williams. Like, again, very disappointing. Very disappointing. I mean, technically not really, since, you know, what look where we came from from the 200 we did three for one and you know we're th this is the june I'll come back a little bit we've had trouble at this 310 originally in august then in september uh it makes sense we cleared everybody out hopefully uh august or the july this is hopefully what this was clearing everybody out this is negated. Let's get rid of this. All right, let's get rid of this as well so we can kind of clear everything up. All right. It kind of makes everything much uh, nicer to look at. Again, if um, I'm loving the fact you see of this move right here from here to here. That's where we kind of topped out is the one two seven. Um, now on the longer term, we uh, we can look at that later. The fifty. So on this, we're holding. If you notice, we we touched the two eighty nine, which is the fifty percent of the overall. Uh, it won't show me. We gotta go weeks. Extension from here to here to here. We are basically at the 50 percent of that if we can get above that that would be key now remember the 100 percent of that move would be 361 so pulling us back all the way down here off that tip of that 50 percent is kind of healthy i'm not going to say it's a negative thing but just be very careful 1026 so the end of the month will be the earnings for this keep that in mind as well <coughs> Not no, I'm not 100%, but I mean, if you were looking at a weekly chart, this looks pretty sexy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Now, I would like it if it was green, but it looks pretty decent. Like, it's it tested and got bought right back up. So, uh, this upcoming week, again, if we can get above this 289, I would like to see that. If we can get above the 293, oh, yeah. 